I am five, playing in the woods with my imaginary friends. One of them takes me to his house and molests me. I find out years later he was real. I'm 18, slicing up my face with a dirty razor blade. Dirty razor blade, the mirror, watches me bleed. I do not feel a thing, and I have no idea why I'm doing it. Six, asking, where's Brian? When is he coming home? Oh, my father tells me he is dead now. He's back here. We're seven. How do I get there? The damn breaks. My father can't hold on. I run into my brother's room, get under his blanket, and feel his presence. I'm 19. Writing passionate poetry in a dorm full of school books. I want to drop out of college and be a writer and say fuck school, but everybody says you have to finish college. 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 I'm not brave enough to follow my dreams to believe in my abilities. Seven. Marcus and I are in the front yard racing remote control car control cars. My grandfather wakes up from his front porch and naps. His nap, screaming, My grandson's not hanging around no niggers while I'm here. I don't understand what he's saying. The look in his eyes terrifies me. I'm 20. I'm blind. A racist southern fraternity. I'm receiving the college experience as my brothers piss on my face and pour beer down my throat while stepping on my Adam's apple. I accept the moment as my punishment for being born white. I am eight, held underwater by a strange man in a robe. He tells me, Let Jesus in your heart. I tell him, I, uh, I don't know how. As I come up for air, he says, if you don't, you go to hell. He dunks me again as I worry. Oh no, I'm going to hell. <laughs> I'm 21, experiencing my morning... This too shall pass, this too shall pass, this too shall pass, but I don't believe it. I feel it is me who is going to pass, and I'm terrified. I'm nine. A baseball being thrown hard in my direction. Runners are on second and third. I am scared of the baseball, but more of the pressure. Swing and a mess we lose. Everyone is angry at me, especially my father. My father. <laughs> I'm 22, a homeless drug addict who has lost his family's trust. I'm frozen at a playground, laying on a slide. Smart enough to understand I created my own hell, yet too dumb to figure out how to get out of it. I think 10. After school, my teacher explains to my parents how I write sc scary stories about her and the rest of the class burning in hell. Well, he won't write another story, will you, Justin? My mom yells. No, I won't. I'm not ready to die. I sadly reply. I'm 23, alone in my room, writing stories. No one wants to read them, I convince myself. Yet it is all I want to happen. I'm 11, walking nervously. Caroline, to ask her to be my girlfriend, Jessica approaches and says, Look how ugly he is. Says, Look how ugly he is. Before I can get out the words, the girls laugh in my face. I'm 24. I'm on a ledge. I'm screaming. I swear to God, I'll jump! My fiance is crying. All she's trying to do is something I will never let her. Love me. 12. Having a difficult time opening my locker as two popular kids slap the hell out of the back of my head while laughing. I'm terrified. I am not standing up for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 25. My name is Jessica. I'm the one I'm 13, side class, one of the popular kids dares me to kill the hamsters. I want to be accepted real bad, so the hamsters die, I feel nothing inside. I'm 26, stealing naked juice from a piggly wiggly. A stocky, angry manager sees me, I run, he catches me, he calls the cops, I get locked up. 14 at my first field keg party after being invited by the new kid, I'm nervous. 
but excited, drinking a cup of full of foam. Two of the popular kids walk up and say, you don't belong here. I look at my new friend. He takes a sip of the beer and ignores me. I walk up. No crime, shame, embarrassed. I do live at all. I'm 27, dying in a hotel in a honeymoon hostel in Costa Rica with my wife. Both of us gross, slimy, at the height of junk withdrawal, shitting, pu puking into a full toilet that won't flush. I'm 15, skipping class. Opening lockers, ripping school books to shreds. I'm not telling anyone about it because I have no one to turn No one to turn to. I'm here to. I'm 28, writing this poem in my dead brother's room. What the fuck have I been doing with my life? Why did I allow each moment to leave here without asking for directions? Each memory is a dead dream keeping me from knowing what is best for me. How do I move on? How do I let go of the past so I can live in the present? How do I make my dreams come true? Why did I allow each moment to leave to the next one? What's up, man? Good to see you. Looking good. What's up, buddy? Uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, you guys are all real beautiful people. I hope everything works out for you in your lives. Hope you focus on all the positive things happening for you. I hope you appreciate everyone in your life. Even if they don't feel like they deserve appreciation, just appreciate it for yourself, not them. It feels better.